Just a couple of poems here. Uh, what's a little poem here? A poem I made up here. It's called Harold Saunders' Boat Builder Tory Channel. I've often been, or sometimes get asked by people, or some people, no one's actually ever asked me, but um, <laughs> um, if you didn't do what you do, what would you do? You know, uh, what would you do? And I'd say I'd be a boat builder. So here's a poem about a boat builder. An old friend of mine, his name's Harold Saunders, and the poem's called Harold Saunders' Boat Builder Tory Channel. Mentions a few other people along the way. It mentions uh, Norman Kirk, New Zealand Prime Minister, who as a young man built his own house. And then another man I have great love for was Henry Moore. I remember hearing an interview with him when I was a child. And the interviewer asked Sir Henry Moore, where did you first get the idea of the holes and the great sculptures, the great carvings? And he replied, I heard this when I was about 10, and I remember thinking, what a... You know, good old dude he sounds. He said, I was cutting one day so deep into the heart of a stone, I discovered the sky on the other side. And I thought of Beethoven, who I listen to most of the time when I'm not listening to silence, and I made up a poem, Harold Saunders, Boat Builder, Tory Channel. A man built a house. That man, years later, became Prime Minister. I like the idea of a Prime Minister being able to build a house. Another man, a man I know, builds boats. He builds boats like Beethoven, say, wrote symphonies, or Henry Moore cut so deep into the heart of a stone one day, he discovered, he said, the sky on the other side. This man builds boats in his garden. They're launched from there. His garden that floats a step above full tide. And when the tide is full in Torrey Channel, the moon comes to watch. Thank you.